You know, before, if you wanted to have a smaller compact solar panel with you, you had to sacrifice power for form factor, and you may only get like 20 watts out of it. Today, we're going to change all that. Today, we're taking a look at the Yargo 100-watt portable solar panel. Yeah, that's 100 watts. Let's check it out. All right, folks, welcome back. So I was really shocked at this. This company actually approached me and asked me if I'd be interested in trying it out. And when they showed me this package here, they said, oh, that's 100 watts. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Because I didn't realize that this was actually a folding panel. Um, as I showed you in the opening here, this is a 20-watt panel uh, from Blitzwolf. It's a good panel for what you want to do if you want to charge a cell phone up or something. But as you can tell, there's really not much to it. And if you're going to carry something that small and you're going to try to charge up a solar power station, it's going to take a while. <laughs> so that's why I wanted to show you this today. I like how this solar panel can be folded down to the size of like a lunchbox once it's collapsed. My other 100 watt panels and the 200 watt panels, you know, the ones that are for the solar generators, they're huge. I mean, they're big square things. You have to fold them open and prop them up. This, on the other hand, isn't that size. And as you can tell, I can pick this up and carry this with me no problem now it is thick because there are multiple panels folded up in here and we are going to test this with, with it charging up a, a power station that i have so before we get started i will let you know i do have a code from them okay there's a 17 percent off code the link will be up top we can get through all that at the end but i did want to let you know that when people are always like i don't see the link well it's usually in the description it's usually the first thing in the description when i'm doing a product so that will be down there along with the code the code will be my first name george that will be the code that's 17 percent off so I I am appreciative for them doing that for you guys. Now, what I like about this is it's easy to carry. It's small. It's collapsible. It's got a good ETFE coating on the panels, and it's a great price. This is under a buck forty a watt, which is pretty darn good for something this size. It has ten separate solar panels, so it can be folded down a whole lot more. Super easy to set up. I already set this up once before outside. You literally just unfold it. We're going to unfold it and show you it. And I can plug it directly into any power station I want. It comes with adapters for every possible power station, which is good because we're going to be charging up an EcoFlow power station today. And as you know, they use the XD60 connectors. I'm going to show you that in a sec here. These little smaller end connectors. And this can do that. So very, very cool that we have all those options in here. I'm going to show you the uh, connectors and panel. Let's get this open first here. So, here is your main connector. This is everything right here, which is also nice, too. You don't have a bunch of wires, a bunch of different adapters. You got one thick, heavy-duty, decent wire here. Okay, this is going to plug. Now, this is a mini XD60 connector. That's going to plug into the panel. That has nothing to do with what you're connecting it to. These are your ends. So, you have the MC4 connectors, which we'll be using today to get that XD60 connector. You have the 3-inch, 5-inch, and the Anderson power pole connectors for any possible solar power station they're going to be setting up so that's really handy right off the bat you don't have to worry about anything like that with it it's ready to go for pretty much any power station you're going to use so let's take a look at the panel here let me open that up for you now it's a nice package actually and if you didn't want to carry the bag you could just carry this let me put the bag over here okay and there you go Right on the front are all your connectors. You can charge your phone with this too. It does have a USB-C and a USB-A connector on there, and that will not interrupt the solar at all. Let me bring that up. I didn't think it was in the camera. See? And there's your mini, X, uh, mini uh, XD60 connector. Okay. And this is how you'll open it. You'll pull this back. Okay. Pull it open and just fold it out like an accordion. Now, once you get it fully folded out, these open up like that, and it will sit flat. It does come with some carabiners, so you can hang this. What we're going to do today is kind of simulate a roadside emergency. I have put my Jeep out in front there, and I'm going to just put it over the hood. Uh, I don't know how perfect of a sunlight I'm going to get with it, but we're going to give it a try. I'm just going to put it over the hood or the window and see about how much power I can get in with this and charge up my EcoFlow power station that I have over on the side here. I actually had to drain the EcoFlow power station to get it so that it had a little room for charge in it. So the output on this is 21 volts, 4.8 amps DC, okay? And that is compatible with most power stations. Uh, it's an 8 millimeter DC adapter for Jackery Explorer, Anchor, Anchor Goal Zero. You had the 5.5 by 2 for our Flash Fish and Rock Pals, and of course, all the others on there. Plus, if yours has the uh, 
MC4 connectors. It will connect to anything. Um, an example here is this EcoFlow connector here with the MC4 to XD60 connector right there. So that's what we're going to use. We're going to plug this into that and we're going to charge it up. So let me get this thing outside and uh, we'll give it a shot and see uh, how well we do. Just to give you a quick look, we have a little bit of cloud cover in the sky today. There is a little bit of sunlight coming this way. So we're going to try putting it right on that side of the vehicle and uh, try it out. Let me pull it out there and let's uh, see what we can get in. So before it. we start plugging stuff in, I did want to give you a look and show you what it's going to look like when it's set up. That is it on there. I just kind of have it pushed into the uh, windshield wiper there. One of the little pieces stuck in there, the piece that doesn't have any solar panel on it. You have indicator lights on here. And that will show you when you get in solar and DC output. And they are both working. So let's plug in our, uh, our generator and see if we can get some power in. All right, let's do a quick explanation of hookup here. Got my cable here. Got my plug right there. So we're going straight into the DC. And the nice part is it's starting to warm up a bit. So the sun is definitely coming down this way. I got it back. There we go. Right in there. Okay. Now I'm going to take my MC4 connectors. Connect red to red. Black to black. And there we go. Now in a second or two, let's get this cable off there. We should be getting some reading in on the solar power generator. Hope you can see it. Um, again, I don't have it in an optimal position. It's literally sitting on the hood of my vehicle. Not pointed in the sunlight which is coming that way and as you can see I'm getting 55 watts in already so we're just gonna let it sit out here and see how long it goes I'm probably gonna move the, uh, the power station here off to the ground because it's right in the sunlight and I don't want it to get too hot but it's saying we got uh, what, 27 minutes before it's full this does charge very very quickly so uh, we'll give it a few minutes here running and see what we get all right so we were just sitting here got it up to 60 61 i had it up to 72 and then i moved it and it went down but obviously it's doing a pretty good job definitely better than a tiny little 10 or 20 watt solar panel so we got 24 minutes left we're gonna let it run out and see uh, if it does the job i got it kind of sideways on the hood here we're getting about 67 68 watts um, i had it up to 78 um, and then I foolishly moved the panel, but uh, it's still doing good. 20 minutes to All right, go. I've angled it on the ground here, and I'm seeing that we're getting in 67 watts, 17 minutes to go before it's finished. 94% or 68. Again, it keeps popping up to 70, but, and again, it's not an optimal sunlight at all. It's literally just on the top of my vehicle sitting there, so doing a good job so far. All right, we've got 16 minutes to go. We'll bring you back once it's finally finished. All right, we've got two minutes left. I just wanted to show you the setup that we're doing here. I want to show you how it looks right now. I do have the solar panels up on the car hood, the generator on the floor there, the power station, and uh, I just keep it down there to keep it cool. We've got two minutes left, 98% finished. It started at 93. That was pretty darn fast, i got to say. I'm really impressed with this panel so far. I did see it hit uh, about 85 was the highest. I didn't get it on video. But again, you know, it's about 23% efficiency. So if your panel is a 100-watt panel, getting 80, even 90 is pretty darn good, uh, especially for the size that it folds up to. Compared to that little 20-watt panel, we'd be still sitting out here waiting for it to get to the next, you know, 1%. So definitely impressed with it. I'm going to let it finish up. We're going to bring it up on the uh, table and finish up the video. I'll give you some final information. Before on we it. finish up, I did want to show you that 100% took all of about 15 minutes. Got to say, it did its job. And definitely a whole lot more powerful than a smaller little 20 or 30 watt solar panel. So let's get the panel back up here. I'm sitting over there right now. And we'll finish up the video. So when you're done with this, you're going to fold it over once. Okay, back over itself. And then it kind of goes back like an accordion. Real simple like that. You're going to pull the top piece over with your charger out front. I like to stick this stuff in here. A little plastic, you know, stuff the plastic in there, the rubber. Keep it from getting any dirt in there. Feed it through in here. And there you go. Completely sealed up. 100 watts. Okay? 100 watts of solar panel as opposed to 20 watts. Big difference. 
and definitely did the job got it up to the correct voltage and uh, amperage to give me a nice quick charge in 15 minutes from 93 to 100 percent seven percent 15 minutes for that not bad at all so let's go over pricing all right so you've got on the back there you've got the usb 3.0 pd type c and dc so you got three charging ports super super versatile you can type pretty much charge anything with these especially the mc4 connectors you can even rig up stuff to work with the mc4 connectors because you can buy these on amazon and uh rig up to your whatever your particular power station has so it's very very easy to use um what you're going to get in it basically is you're going to get the panel the adapters the carabiners inside here and an instruction manual or the carabiners standard carabiners that come with it there's four of them there's two more and uh, the charging cable and you do have two pockets in here so what we're going to do is put the charging cable up front and zip that up closed there we go and then we stick the panel in the back here where there's lots of room and it's that simple actually i want to put that yeah that's perfect there we go i don't know if there's another zipper there nope it's actually a pretty decent heavy duty case too so not bad at all all right so the stats on this 11.4 inches by 8.27 inches folded the item weight is 5.5 pounds solar cell efficiency is 23 percent your dc output voltage maximum is 20.9 volts and your dc max output current is 4.8 amps definitely a cool little thing it is ip65 rated so it is water resistant so if it's drizzling a little bit not too bad you don't want to leave it out in driving rain but it, it will hold up to the drizzle and stuff like that so i'm definitely impressed with it i really like it now the website down below will take you to the link if you're interested in buying it i do have it in my amazon store too but it's cheaper to use your code this way so go to their website use my 17 percent discount code george with that discount code normally these are 156.50 after the code, it's going to be one twenty nine ninety. So definitely use the code when you go there and check them out. I think this is really an innovative kind of product. I'd like to see them go up in power to like 200s and 300s. Because think about it. What's easier to store in the back of your vehicle during an emergency? Something like that or big, huge, open up two panel folding uh, system that's a whole lot harder to carry around and lug around that's super simple and you see how easily i was able to just drape it on my hood i didn't even bother putting it on the roof of the car because why bother you know i wanted to see how it would do in austere quick throw it out there and deploy it conditions and it seemed to do very very well so i'm definitely impressed with it you can check out the link down below it's the yargo 100 watt portable folding compact solar panel definitely a small compact handy little package to take with you wherever you go uh even even i would say i don't know backpacking it's kind of heavy five pounds but car camping emergency stuff uh definitely for me when it comes to being deployed out in an emergency um we got something like that to keep my uh, my gear powered up definitely cool so i will definitely be using it more and more as time goes on anyway folks links down below for it don't forget my code below that we have our freeze-dried wholesaler link okay he is slowly getting everything stocked back up again remember you guys ran them out last month you bought a ton of stuff which is good i'm glad to see people getting prepared but that was an onslaught that he wasn't really ready to handle even though he has a ton of stuff so he definitely did really good so check him out my code will save you 15 percent. my link i'm sorry not my code you just click the link when you check out you'll see my 15 percent discount code in the back our freeze dried wholesaler link is there we have our amazon affiliate store if you're interested in checking out some of the stuff in the store by all means check it out if not just click the link shop as you normally would we do appreciate that our my patriot supply link that's prepare with iridium.com prepare with iridium.com you definitely want to check that out this month three month kit with 200 dollars worth of free survival gear with the food and and our Thrive Life freeze-dried food store. Definitely check that out as well. Anyway, folks, thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.